they have their guns drawn Name on the Name and ID skies. now. You're Name live on the now. internet right now. What reasonable, articulable suspicion, because at this point you are detaining me, and if you're detaining me under Florida statute, you are required to provide a reason for detainment. Relax, dude, relax. Relax, it's just a camera. No cameras. No that's cameras. why they act like that's why they pull their guns no out because they think nobody was watching yeah, but you exactly. were live streamed the whole time welcome back to the lackluster channel today's video was submitted by jay's a real camera and also features open government investigations on july 20th the two were driving together when they witnessed a lee county sheriff's deputy speeding and failing to use his turn signals they approached the officer to ask him why he was ignoring the motor vehicle code any reason you're speeding 1842 can i get your name and id who are you? Who are you? <laughs> How about? Huh? Show me my hands. I got no weapons. Okay, show me your hands. Right here. I'm getting out of the vehicle. No, stay in the vehicle. Am I being detained? Am I being detained? Am I being detained? You're being recorded. Okay, who are you? Who are you? I'm the one watching you break multiple laws. Why do you have your gun drawn? Because you're following me, that's why. Is that illegal? Is that illegal? Is that unlawful? Is that unlawful? Is that unlawful? Is, is that unlawful? Am I being detained? For what? What reasonable, articulable suspicion? Wait until I get another unit here. Bullshit. You can tell me right now because the second you get another unit here, that's conspiracy. Yeah, okay. Hey, they have their guns drawn Name on the Name and ID now. You're Name live on the now. internet right now, so yeah, you're be careful what you're stream, doing. Bro. You're live streaming right now. You have your guns drawn on us. Yes, I do. All yep. right, buddy. Yep. So it's okay for you to speed. This guy has his gun signals. drawn on us, man. And then pull a gun on me. So, uh, C. Edmund, C. Yeah, Edmund, Lee C. County Edmund. Sheriff's Office, car 1842. Yeah, so we saw this car not using turning signals, speeding. So yeah. uh, we asked him, a why is he speeding? speeding. Not and using uh, rolled signal. down his window and pulled down his gun, pulled out his gun on us. This guy you think I'm he, scared of you? This guy thinks he could just speed and not use turn signals and then try to intimidate us by pulling out his gun. Uh, normally, I don't resort to immediately start cursing out law enforcement officers. Being coward. Yeah, it is cool. It is cool. Well, reasonable, articulable suspicion, because at this point you are detaining me. And if you're detaining me under Florida statute, you are required to provide a reason for detainment. And you have yet to do so. What reason do you have to detain me? 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 Here comes the backup. They're going to probably pull us out of the car, guys. So. What reason do you have to detain me? Where's the supervisor? Exactly. We're auditors. They already talked about it. Where's the supervisor? I want the supervisor right. Guys, whatever happens. This guy over here, he's got his fucking gun. I have my hands out. You have your fucking gun. I want your name and fucking badge number right now. So what am I this being is, detained this for? This is how we have to treat them, guys. This is how we have to treat them. Okay, you can't I don't be, nice to be detained to, to talk to a supervisor. Okay. If we're waiting for a supervisor, then that means I'm not being detained. This, thank you. Why do you guys act above the law? What makes you guys special? Because you wear that clown suit and that badge, it makes you special. It makes you speed and not, you're not even, you're not even using turning signals. We got everything on camera. We got called here by another officer as an officer assistant. For what? And he stopped answering his radio. For what? Yeah, because he was too much to answer a goddamn question. That's why. Relax, dude, relax. Relax, it's just a camera. That's all it is. Can you guys stop that light? You guys are impeding my investigation, bro. Can you turn off that light, please? There's no need for that light. Seriously, please. Yeah, that big light, yeah, turn that off. You're impeding my investigation, bro. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna need you guys to sit on the curb, bro, pretty soon, if you guys don't stop. <clears throat> Remember how I was saying that fucking Carmine won't No cameras. No that's cameras. why they act like that's why they pull their guns no out because they think nobody was watching yeah, but exactly. you were live streamed the whole time only... this is why we all have to film and another thing i found out none of them have body cams none of them have uh cameras on their vehicles none of them have cameras look imagine everything they get away with imagine if we didn't have a camera right now we'd probably be thrown on the floor right now beaten 
and probably left in a ditch. And all he had to do was answer why he was speeding. He could have said sorry, he could have gave his name, but no, he pulls out his gun and try to flex his muscles and that's not gonna ride. <laughs> Which statute is suspicion in the state of Florida? Is that a misdemeanor or a felony? Okay, suspicion is not a crime. Ooh, but damn, Exactly, bro. it's not, that's bro. That's qualified immunity. That's exactly what I was looking for. Thank but you so much for walking into that. It is lead up to an investigation. Yeah, and I've got and your policy book right there. And just just suspicion alone cannot be just just the mere sight of suspicion mm -hmm. in your policy cannot be a reason for detainment. The men were eventually allowed to leave, but the next day the local news ran a story claiming that they were provoking the police, focusing on their foul language. Two so-called cop watchers who followed and confronted Lee County deputies. Tonight, we're learning a proposed new bill would make it a crime to harass police. Their video shows them swearing at an officer they followed after claiming he was speeding. The chief then appeared to speak to his pride for the officers and their de-escalation training. I'm proud of how they acted on scene, and our training, our de-escalation training, is proven now that we are able to take that kind of verbal abuse and, and still be very professional and courteous and do our job. The very next evening, Jay and Open Government Investigations continued on their quest for police transparency, especially when considering the Sheriff's Office does not have body cams or dash cams. On the next evening out, they came across Lee County deputies on the scene of a vehicle theft call. The men filmed from a distance and captured the following. That's her grandson! Talk to me! I Talk have! Out. You keep fucking yelling at me and you're going to fucking jail! I'm telling you right what? now! Oh, dude! Oh, de-escalate, de-escalate. Who was the one that just yelled at that guy? Who was the guy that yelled at him? Who? Who is who? You? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I want the name and I want the name and ID of the guy who just yelled at the guy. Did you witness that guy just screaming at that guy? No. Okay. This is this is exactly why we film, and this is why they don't like us filming. I, I, I would love to see NBC2 do a story on that, on the fact that that guy right there just screamed at a guy. What about what about Sheriff Carmine's, you know, de-escalation tactics? Was it necessary for that officer to yell at that guy like that? I'm sorry? Was it necessary for that deputy to yell at that guy like that? Um, when I walked up there, the individual was yelling at our deputy. And I understand that, but I mean, literally, two days ago, Sheriff Carmine was on the news talking about how us, we were yelling at you guys. I mean, why didn't anyone, why didn't anyone shout at the guy? Why didn't anyone try and tell your guy to back off? He kept going until I said de-escalate. Supervisor's trying to leave. Is that the supervisor? Is that the supervisor? No? Okay. Do you have an ETA on the supervisor? No, thank you. Are you Hendrix? Yep. You are? Oh, you're the one that's seen. Why'd you yell at that guy? I just yelled at that guy, man. We've got it on camera. Yeah, dude. It's fine? It's fine what you did? I didn't say it's fine. You guys don't have cameras. You guys have zero cameras, which means zero transparency and zero accountability. And the fact that you had no idea that I was standing right there and we caught you getting up into that guy's face like that I mean dude what what if, what if what if what if I did that to you what if I just came up to you started yelling at you and got up into your face like that did you catch the part where he started uh, yelling Two wrongs don't make a right. if we weren't here to have witnessed that there would have been no evidence all it was was his word against all of your guys's words did you witness that guy just screaming at that guy uh, no, sir, I was, in my car. was it necessary for that deputy to yell at that guy like that when I walked up there, the individual was yelling at our deputy. And that's the issue with Lee County Sheriff's Office. That's the issue with Sheriff Carmine. He doesn't want transparency. He doesn't want you guys having body cams. Is the supervisor almost here? Yes, sir. Is the supervisor almost here, by the way? I know I keep asking, but... <laughs> um, uh, I think he's just leaving. I think he's no, I, he's uh, leaving? Unless he turned left or right, that probably still far somewhere. Well, that's the thing is, I, I requested the, the supervisor. I'll call him and see if he wants to come over here and talk to you. Yes, huh? um, I'd like oh. to put in for an SI. Uh, a complaint on your deputy. Hen was it Hendrix? He Hen Hendrix Hicks? He it was a canine deputy. Do you know who that is? You can, put in, you can go downtown, you can file a complaint with him. 
Absolutely fine. No body cams, no dash cams, just the chief's word on TV that their de-escalation training is working. And it seems like that. You keep fucking yelling at me, you're going to fucking jail. I'm telling you right now. And this. Hey, they have their guns drawn Name on Name and ID now. You're Name live on the now. internet right now. Don't happen. The very next day, Sheriff Marcello appears again on television, this time with the NAACP, spreading promises of transparency, all while fighting the implementation of cameras among his ranks. A healthy, transparent relationship with citizens is the backbone of a de-escalation, and because of this strong connection that we maintain, our community is served to the fullest capacity. The sheriff goes on to explain that his method of improving their already high level of service is to train inmates on how to interact positively with law enforcement. To improve the already high level of service, one way we are doing this is by introducing classes to our inmates on life skills, economic development, and how to interact positively with law enforcement. Shortly after the sheriff's appearance with the NAACP, Telemundo 51 ran a story in the favor of Jay Surreal Camera and open government investigations. I would like to extend a huge shout out to Wrights Crispy for his efforts in translating this video. Auditing police behavior, not just in Florida, but nationwide. But for the sheriff, it's harassment, and it's unacceptable. The office of the Lee County Sheriff spoke up. It's very unfortunate that they do It's that. unfortunate that they do that and that they want to interfere with police work. For the authorities, this kind of confrontation presents a problem for the community. I imagine that this story is not over and already covers hours of footage. I will leave the links to all of the original videos in the description down below. Be sure to check out their channels and let Jace a real camera open government investigations, and writes crispy no, I sent you. Thanks for watching. If you have a video you'd like me to review, email it or send it in via Facebook Messenger. You can also view this and other content on my website. If you're new here, subscribe for future content. If you've been around for a while, remember to like, share, and comment down below of what you think of this interaction. Shirts and other goodies are available at the Teespring store linked below. Channel memberships start at just a buck if you'd like to further support the channel and get a slick lack logo next to your name. I'll see you in the next video. All links are down below. Wrong, so make a right.